in it, but first we'll do the space between us, uh, which was uh, I saw it on Tuesday, and it was it was really dead. Like no, there was nobody there, and it's it's not surprising really. We saw the trailer for this before the Bye Bye Man, which they sneaked in after the BBFC card, which I found very. It's it's uh I don't unethical. like that. It's very unethical. Like there's policies about that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that's not allowed. There are rules. So in this film, Asa Butterfield is a kid whose mother was an astronaut, and she is part of a mission that is going to go to Mars so they can con uh, col colonize. That's the word. Yeah. Like the Martian. So there's a team of them going up to try and col col colonize Mars. And when she gets up there, she finds out that she's pregnant, which obviously is a problem because she's gonna have a baby. It's gonna be born on Mars, so but she has a prequel to the Martian. No, I, could, I suppose it could be. Uh, so it's not as good as the Martian. The baby is born on Mars. Why? Why do you have? Blimey. a Why do you have a birthday, Papa? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bored. But why? 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 Why do you have a birthday? I've only been talking for a minute. I know, but then I that just thought bored. Just, just create like a bit of entertainment with this. W why thing. do you have one of those? Right, it was Liam Lillicor's twenty second. So he decided ah, to have okay. a birthday show. They they right. brought this in. It wasn't me, so that explains it. <laughs> oh, it's horrible, that. Take that on a night out. Uh. <laughs> Can I get back to me film now? You're going to announce my <laughs> arrival in Haley's with that. <laughs> right. Or else stop, stop. All right. You can do one after to celebrate, yeah? <laughs> right. I'll let you know when I'm done. You can do it as much as... Well, not as much as you want, but you can do it like a couple okay. times. Right. So, it, uh, for the YouTube bit, like, this is going to be... Nobody's going to know what's going on. Asa Butterfield is the kid. He's lived on Mars all this time. He's been sort of looked after by... Because his mum died during childbirth as oh. well. So, Carla... Guigino. Guigino is an astronaut who's sent up there to, to look after him because he's, he can't survive on Earth. He gets a pen pal on Earth, uh, played by Britt Robertson, and she's a schoolgirl. It's the same sort of thing as Alexandra Daddario in San Andreas. Like, Britt Robertson's 26, and you can sort of see in her face that she's not like a schoolgirl. She's just short, and Asa Butterfield's really tall, so that she does look like a schoolgirl age. But her face, she's like, she looks 26. So there's there's that. Uh so the two of them are chatting over, you know, connections. Are you putting your headphones in? No, I'm just realised I don't have my charge. I don't have my charge. Oh, it's like, like a USB port that's free over there. I need USB, to charge uh, yeah. I need to charge my phone. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Wait, what's this film called you reveal? It's called The Space Between Us. The Space it, Between Us. It seemed like the the, the, the the biggest, like most on the nose romance of all time. Well here's the thing. Extremely here's glad the I didn't thing. see it. So Asa Butterfield uh, decides to come da come down to Earth to meet her, and he also wants to find out who his father is because he doesn't know he doesn't know his father. Gary Oldman's in it. He's the like twenty six. I know twenty six. She's a really good actress. Though. She's good. I she's really good, like but she's in a lot she's of bad. Like... She's in a lot of bad films, and yeah. a, a, a lot of like she, I've I've got written here like the bad film bubble. I think when she gets out of that bad film bubble, because she was in uh, Mother's Day, which we don't need to, oh, don't no. need to speak about. That, that looks terrible. That. It was always one of the worst films I've ever was. seen. Uh, she was also in Tomorrowland, which was like good, but could have been better. I didn't mind that one. I didn't mind it either, but it definitely could have been better. Yeah. Fine. Uh, and uh, she was also uh, she's also in A Dog's Purpose, which is coming up, oh, God. which hasn't actually got animal abuse in it. It was oh, yeah. it was fake. But uh, uh, that that has really ruined that film's reputation. Now, like that film is dead on the water. See, it, it I, made no money. See, when I saw that thing, I was like, why are people like so sort of, like? Th it's not even like the full thing. Like it's no. a, it's just an edit. It's, like, it's it very cleverly be... edited to make it look like something's happened. But I, I, it's, it, it, it apparently hasn't. I, but the film's like dead she now. She is starring in a TV show about some random. I think it's like a social media star, right. and that looks really good. So I think that could make her. I can't remember what it's called. Mm. Uh, my phone's over there as well. It's charging. So uh, yeah, Gary Oldman's in it as well. Here's the thing. I think it could have been worse. I think like from seeing the trailer, I thought it was gonna be one of the worst things ever. And the Rotten Tomatoes reviews and stuff. Uh, it's got a really low score. I think it's like. It's in the... It, 17, it's 17, 17, 17. 17, so it's pretty bad. It's not as worse as Fifty Shades Darker, so it's Which is on nine. 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 nine? I thought it was like 0. 0.5, or was that... No, that'll, that'll be its average score. Oh, so it's going up from like, what, five to nine now? Yeah. That's great. It's still not very good. Uh, I like Britt Robertson in it. I think, as, as we've said, she's very capable. She's a very good actress. She's fun. She's lively. She, she sings in the film, she's a good singer. Is she? And she's got good chemistry with Asa Butterfield. My problem with Asa Butterfield is that it's very hammy. What do you because, mean hammy? Um, like cheesy. 
soft, oh, yeah, God, cheesy. No, because no. he's playing, he's playing a, 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 a human who's only <coughs> ever lived on Mars. But he's also a Martian. He's also a Martian. I guess Buzzy is a Martian. And he's an alien. But he might as well be the prequel to the Martian. Then would have been is, like. Is the wall built at this time? <laughs> like. Have they not established that? He, uh, Issa Butterfield, is, he's a bit cheesy. He kind of over-exaggerates a little bit. And I'm worried about him as well. He's sort of in a bit of a bad film bubble last year. Ever well. since that whole, like, will he, won't he play the new Spider-Man, I think I've been over him. Yeah. I think he's, he's unfortunately didn't get that role, I think. That would have really pushed him on. Because I, I like Issa Butterfield. He seems like a canny lad. But... I want to know. In, you know what? I actually want him to get the role because it he would be a different take on mm. Peter Parker because all the Peter Parker looks the same, including Tom Holland. No offense, Tom Holland actually is more of a fan, to be honest. He won the BAFTA Rising Star Award this week, which uh, I was surprised about. Really? Why? I like Leah Costa better. But... Who who was nominated for that? Why the frick did they give it to the new Spider Man? Ruth Negger was up as well. Rising Star. Leah Costa. What? The I know, I know, because like big film break, I guess. Big even, what? Even, big he... film break. Spider Man's not even out yet. He was in Civil War. Ruth Negger would be fine. Wasn't, wasn't he a small bit? But he was, he was in Civil War. Oh, that tiny bit got him. What him the BAFTA for Rising Star? Get the fuck out, nah. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll wrap this up. Really, I think it could have been worse. Uh, I've got written here. Asa Butterfield's really tall because he is. He's really tall. Is that, is that your whole? Is that your whole analogy? Just just an end of review. Asa Butterfield is really tall. He's really tall. tall. I've got no problem with it. I think it's quite cheesy, and I think it's designed for. A younger audience it's a pg film Ugh. but it has better romance than 50 shades and i know that doesn't say much but i genuinely did sort of care about these two characters i sort of thought that the relationship was quite sweet i think the pacing's really off because things the first half of the film drags on really long and the second half kind of feels too rushed and too fast so i would have sort of balanced out but more it's a two-hour film I, when i saw it was a two-hour film i sort of like Oh god, here we go. But in the end, I actually sort of enjoyed it. Not good, not great, but definitely was there like plain toast. Was there a lot of space? No, because they're in they're on Earth. So was it between Fuck them? Sake. The space between <laughs> us is it's because he, she's from Earth and he's from Mars. It's a shame that I haven't seen it because we could have brought down the 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 counter that we will have, but mm. uh, but this time for the uh, obviousness mm. ones, like uh, you know, it's it's is like there any moonlight? Sometimes I feel like you're from another world. The, the, like the, the, there's bits of dialogue like that that just you, <laughs> the you... trailer just seemed achingly obvious like so many connections like oh you know I was pleasant... we're so far apart but our love can't break yeah. us apart like, it's oh. not it's it not it's not great but I, I it think it, it could have been <laughs> <laughs> you're a bad ghost Marv it could have been worse anyway <laughs>